Greetings to all of my Pisces. Greetings, cross watching. We are getting ready for your midnight me meeting, your midnight reading. Um, I got a meeting in the ladies' room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Pisces and my cross watchers, welcome, 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 cross watchers. Thank you so much for showing up and showing so much love to this Pisces channel just by viewing the channel. And for all of you all who took that extra step and by hitting that like, share, and subscribe button, I appreciate you so much. And I'm praying that your blessings come in because you're trying to bring me blessings. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and my cross watchers, you can have Pisces in any significant placement within your natal chart. It doesn't necessarily only have to be your sun sign. It could be your moon, your Venus, your rising, your north node, your Lilith, okay? So read upon that. Hopefully, you know your natal chart, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this reading. For those who keep saying, I can't see anything. Is my screen broke? No, your screen, your screen isn't broke. I have the phone facing the sky, okay? So these are readings that I do in the daytime um, when I am where I am. And I do the readings and then I chant, I remember what came out in your reading, okay? And then I channel them and I do them at night, okay? And this is what you see and I do them under the sky, okay? Under the stars, under the moonlight, our numerous galaxies, okay? All right, so Pisces. Um, there is a energy where I feel like the battle is not yours okay so there's something that you're going to see in your life where again this has a lot to do with you picking your battles wisely and this comes out a lot for you Pisces okay sometimes this has to do with your internal energy because the five of wands led your read so this has a, a lot to do with your internal energy, which you are letting affect you, okay, internally, which are taking on the energetic um, nonsense that you may be taking on or small that does not belong to you. Things that you're letting occupy your time, your attention, your resources, okay? Um, the good thing is clarifying that five of wands was the ace of wands so i feel like you're about to move upon you're about to have some sort of new beginning it's almost as if you're going to use some sort of turbulent situation to kind of uh, open up some sort of new door for yourself okay um this is like you taking advantage of some sort of like new start i don't know whether it's through moving your energy because the ace of wands could be like that movement energy it could be um transferring from one situation to another or starting embarking upon something new big and exciting being optimistic about what you want in this life right and and going after it right like not letting anything stop you not letting fear or never of tall getting your head because that five of wands could have represented you really having to look in the mirror and face your fears about a situation here maybe you have fire placement or fire signs could be significant aries leo sagittarius okay so i do feel like you are you may be vibrating more in that fire energy sagittarius represent that ninth house of exploration so you could be exploring your options in a braver way just going out there not waiting for someone to tell you what to do how to do it, when to do it but really just taking charge in some area of your life and learning things along the way things that get your blood pumping you know what i mean things that get you really excited exploring where you want to go exploring what your possibilities could be exploring what you want to do in this life this could be career related friendship related this could be um, uh, business related or just actually like where you physically live okay um, also with that Leo energy Leo is about that creativity that fifth house having heart courage right so again I feel like your bonus you're being you're doing something in a very creative way and you're not worried about what people think you're not worried about what people say you could be that type of Pisces where you always were under the microscope any day <laughs> <laughs> like everything you did, everything you said was always judged any day away. So you might as well do what you want to do, right? Um, to make yourself happy. And I feel like that's the, that's the energy you're vibrating in right now. Um, if you're in the Aries energy, Aries ruled the first house. That cardinal, car, Aries is a cardinal fire sign ruling that first house. Um, so oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, y'all. Like a helicopter is either landing or... Uh, or taking on I'm not sure okay um so and um Sagittarius is a mutable fire sign and then Leo is a fixed 
fire sign. Oh, it's taking off. Okay. <laughs> we got a straight So I kind of feel like Pisces, you are like taking charge in some area, like you're taking the lead. You're not waiting for anyone to do it. You're not waiting for anyone to give you the green light. You may be working with some fire signs that may be kind of like trying to spearhead something to try to get something to move faster in your life or something like that, or you could have significant fire placement. But I do feel like you're in the energy of making your own dreams take flight. Of course, we're put on this earth together. We're not meant to do everything by ourselves. So you could be incorporating some people who you know that's going to get the damn job I'm done. You ain't got a time for the people to be sitting around. Um, um, um. I, 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 ooh, I don't know. You may be like, okay, can you move to the side or point me in the right damn direction so I can get done what I need to get done? I, I don't have time to be sitting around waiting for you to figure it out. Point me in the direction of somebody who know because I need to know. Because I feel like once you get some information about something, you know exactly how to what to do with it, right? All right, so. Pisces, I did see you have that three of wands coming out in the situation. So you could be something from your past, something about your past work that you were putting in is going to pay off. You could get some sort of public recognition because of this. This could be within three days, three weeks, three months. Okay. You could be getting some sort of public recognition for something. Okay. Again, that Aries energy. Some of you all look amazing. You also may be like changing your wardrobe or you could be doing something where you look very pretty, very handsome or something like like that Aries rules the head okay most of the Aries that I've come across in this life have been attractive like they have like I, I it's rare that I meet an Aries that's not handsome or that's not uh pretty okay most of them the the majority of and I'm not saying it like fa a favoritism thing but most of the Aries that I have encountered they have either some sort of unique features about them that is uh, that makes them alluring. So if they aren't physically attractive, uh, attractive on the outside, they could just have like a personality. That leadership personality just makes them beautiful, okay? Or alluring to the eye or something like that. So there could be something about that energy that's coming that's kind of like with you. It depends on where you're... Um, your, uh, if you do have Aries in your chart... Um, it could be in in your Venus or something like that. Maybe you have an Aries Venus where you're, you know, you know how to beautify up things around you. You know how to take charge or be like a trailblazer when it comes to beautifying up your money, beautifying up your life, beautifying up your work, beautifying up your body, your your resources. So some of you all could even be doing something different with your facial features, your hair. Maybe you're doing your makeup different. Maybe you're changing your beard. You're growing a beard, cutting your beard cutting your hair, growing your hair out, coloring something. I feel like you may be doing something. Um, and we're in certain, in, in certain parts of the country, we are in the summer months. So maybe you're doing something pertaining to the summertime or something like that. Um, but I also, but also Aries rules that second house where, I mean, I'm sorry, that first house that has a lot to do with the mind, the head, how you think, you know, having those like putting, not waiting for, so like, I wish this would happen. I wish that would happen. But really taking that lead and say, okay, mentally, I'm going to make this happen. I'm not only going to think about it, but I'm going to turn my thoughts into actual action. Okay. I'm going to put action behind something and then putting that action behind something is going to bring me some results okay so i do feel like you aries also rule that fool card so sometimes you have taken a leap of faith in some areas of your life and it hasn't worked out sometimes it has worked out and either you're seen as a fool you've seen by fool by some people and a trailblazer by others but either way i feel like you're confident and, and happy with yourself okay um, or that confidence is building so Pisces, with that three of wands, you have the nine of swords. So this is a time for you to really get out of your head. You could be thinking a lot about, okay, I almost see you getting what you want in some area of your life, like almost like... Um, Maybe you're working with some people who really helping you or you're working to do something, you're accomplishing something on your own. Um, you're kind of getting rid of the negative thoughts, negative self-doubt. 
um, confidence is building. But there's an area, Pisces, because that nine of swords is about you being in your head too much, like constantly almost to the point like like you need to check your thoughts because you can manifest things right into your life so i do feel like you this is a time where you need to really keep your focus on something positive i just heard no new friends so i don't know so pisces i'm not sure what's going on with you but you may be in an environment or around some people where you may feel like their energy is off when they're approaching you and you don't want you don't want that new friendship energy in your life maybe you see somebody as toxic or something like that um, or you feel like when you're around them they just are full of turmoil they're full of negativity and you could be wanting to distance yourself from that energy i just heard no new friends clear as day so it's something about you kind of looking at a situation where you're like no nah, i don't want any new friends now i don't know whether the new friendship thing is someone from your past coming back and wanting to rekindle the friendship and you're like no I don't care how new you say you are or what you've changed in your life or what you've improved I don't want to rekindle this we're not about to go down a new path with each other okay this could be some new people who you've come across where you're not seeing them as a healthy uh connection for you you know um, maybe you've picked up on some energy that you just kind of feel like that it's, it's not it's not kosher it's not okay right um, everything ain't copacetic right <laughs> this could also be a new relationship maybe you've met someone who is trying to have a romantic connection to you and you're like no I don't want to be in a new connection right now maybe you're focusing on maybe you enjoy being single or you're already in a healthy connection but I feel like there's some sort of new energy in your life where you're like nah I don't want to go down that new pathway with someone one. I kind of feel like the pathway that you're on, you're kind of enjoying it or you're in the process of just learning so much about yourself and that pathway that you're not letting anything like take your attention off of it. You're not deviating off of it because you're having some level of success with that three of wands there. Now let's keep moving. I do see um, an energy Pisces because I pull from the Kipper deck. So I do see an energy where you could be... Um, getting some sort of communication because the message card came out you could be getting some sort of communication i do know libra rule that seventh house so this could have something to do with like relationships libra rule balance and relationships your relationship with people places and things and what if, if something is off balanced this is about you doing what it takes to put it back into balance okay um you could be uh, it keeps coming out pisces and the energy i keep getting is you are really dissecting every connection in your life some of you all are are psychic like you when you come into connections with people you're observing them more than you will ever let them know and they may think that you're naive or that you are aloof or something like that but I feel like you deliberately keep information from people because you don't want them to expo like try to cover something up. You don't want to expose what you know about them or expose what you're reading about them because you don't want them to go into that energy of covering something up. You know when people, like I don't know whether you all have experienced this or not, but when you come across people who think someone is naive, they immediately go into that cocky energy of let me see how I can get over. Let me run game on them. Let me see if I can, you know, this is people who I don't know why they see you that way. I have no freaking clue. Um, maybe they think that they're more street smart than you. Maybe they think that they're more book smart than you. I'm not sure. Maybe they feel like they had more experience or something, but I feel like you don't reveal things of what you know. So this is the equivalent. I'll use this as an example. This is the equivalent of somebody saying how, you know, they always, you know, bragging about how street smart they are, right? You may have book smarts and street smarts, but your book smarts make you understand how street smarts work because you've already been out there in the street. So you've experienced things that you know what to talk about, what not to talk about. You may not be that type of person where you're constantly bragging on what, you know, what you experience in these streets out here. You know, people always talk about, yeah, because I used to, I used to, I used to. 
<laughs> yeah, because I was, I was this person, and everybody knew nothing that people knew. You may be like, I'm not about to, like, no. And you may have come across some real ones in the street, but they don't talk like that. You know, shit, they got things done quietly. They didn't talk about what they did, how they did it, when they did it, why they did it. They just did what they had to do quietly and moved on with their freaking life. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about it was always something negative. I'm even talking about how they made money. You understand what I'm saying? It was quiet. They wasn't out here bragging and trying to have everybody all in their business and bring the attention to themselves and all of that. So I kind of feel like there's something in your life, Pisces, where you're seeing people who see you. You, you. It's almost as if you're seeing them. You're seeing yourself through their eyes, but they don't know that you see this. So I feel like you do have people. You may have some people that come across and they being a little dishonest, and you know that they're being dishonest. But you're like, again, like I said, another reading. You're not lying to me at this point, baby. You lying to yourself. <laughs> so I do feel like you're not giving something the energy that people want you to give it okay and this could also be the reason why people see you as sort of aloof or naive because you're not responding to things the way that they think a person uh who is in the know would respond and it doesn't and i just use a street thing as an example but this could be anything this could be you know like if you if you are around other business owners if you're in a job it could be in your family in your family anything um i just kind of feel like someone is looking at you as aloof that could be the reason why you feel like no new friends because somebody you think somebody thinks that you're naive and you're like damn so if you thought I was naive and you'll try to run game on me damn that lets me know you're not for me you're not even you're not even happy for me you're not rooting for me you're not the type of person that'll try to help me build you'll try to run game on me so yeah so it's something that you see Pisces um that's really helping you but I really don't see you exposing it because I saw that high priestess card came out and i said well look at that day i said so pisces really vibrating in that high priestess energy where you're trusting your intuition you're not giving any explanations you're keeping what you know to yourself you could be moving in silence oh excuse me you could be moving in silence at this point where you're not even in the energy where you're trying to um impress anybody you could just be trying to do your own thing to impress yourself right now you could just be trying to impress yourself you know um i also feel like with some of you all with that message that's coming in i feel like the messages are not just coming from someone i feel like the messages also are coming from the divine with you some of you all um need to i did a, I did a video <laughs> i'm sorry y'all excuse me where i pulled out the black of sitting in stone right and it has a lot to do with clearing your aura too like so some of you all your aura could felt very smoked or maybe you felt blocked in some area of your life okay this could have been from people doing black magic doing all kind of voodoo work this that and the other unfortunately uh hoodoo was turned into a negative thing but it was actually something that our ancestors used it was very positive it was actually something that our ancestors used to use um to protect themselves from slave owners you know when they were told they couldn't even use their own native tongue you know so they were they were doing what they had been doing for hundreds of years what their ancestors were doing to heal themselves using things from the earth they knew to when to plant certain things they knew where to plant certain things they knew when to harvest they knew when to hunt they knew how to do certain things to help help themselves be healthy and um and not get diseases and and things like that so this wasn't they knew what herbs to eat they knew what to put in their body what to mix it with what to plant what to inhale what to grow what to smoke what to drink they knew this you know what i mean i mean they would do it by the moonlight or sometimes by certain times of the day to make it heal they would put certain things on certain parts of their body and they knew what words to say to bring up to call upon their ancestors to help invoke that healing those blessings okay they knew 
what offerings to make to the water gods. They knew what offerings to make to the sky gods. They knew what offering to make to the fire gods. They knew what to do to appease them so they would not be attacked. You understand what I'm saying? So this was something that was turned into a negative thing. Oh, they're using hoodoo. Oh, they're using voodoo. You know, things like that, unfortunately. But it used to be something that was used for good. And the only reason that they... So if you had someone to use something where it was a protection spell or they used um, something to a, a reversal spell or something like that, it was because they were being harmed. It wasn't, it was for protection. It's like what we call self-defense today, okay? So the wording has just changed, but it's basically the same thing because people don't believe in spiritual attacks until it happened to them. You understand what I'm saying? People don't believe in you could be spiritually attacked until it happened to you. And, or someone who you love, you know what I mean? And you see that, dem that demonic spirit being put over them and they going through hell and back and every nobody understands that that person is under spiritual attack by some very evil people. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Who are heavy into the occult and they use it for control mechanisms to hurt people. So you got to know what you're dealing with, who you're dealing with, how to protect yourself and things like that. I've had to go through it myself. And I think I share some of it with you all. And I'll continue to share it with you all because nobody is off the with this spiritual uh, um, spiritual warfare out here that some people go through. No one is you, you could say, OK, well, I'm going to do this protection. Center, and you'll still you somebody will see the smallest thing in your video and attack that. It won't even have, you won't think it's nothing major, but to them, okay, well, if I can attack that, then I'm going to do that. If I can attack, I mean, child, it's ridiculous. But anyway, so Pisces, I do feel like you are wiser than what you let on when it comes to people and how they move out here, but you're in some area of your life, you are keeping something to yourself. I also saw something that has to do with, now I don't know what you are doing when it comes to, because the second house came out and then the sixth house, and both of those are, I mean, I'm sorry, the six of pentacles came out and the seven of pentacles came out. Both of those are Taurus energies. That rule, Taurus rules the second house. I feel like something about your what you've invested in is going to have some sort of return. This I don't know whether you're connecting with your bank around this time. I don't know whether you're connecting with like maybe a financial advisor. I don't know whether it's a um I don't know whether it's a um like something that has to do with something that has to do with your growth your financial growth so maybe you're i said it in another video that you could be investing into stocks and bonds or you could be investing into something that you feel like it's going to have some sort of return okay so maybe you're talking to somebody about that this could be even you deciding if you're getting a contract you may be saying okay i can this is how much I'm going to be paid, or this is what my prices are. Or this is my price list. This is what I'm, you know, charging for this contract, or this is what my fees are, or something like that. So I feel like you could be negotiating around this time. This could be a for a pay raise. This could be something where you have to give your bank information for some sort of deposit or something like that. It could be a windfall coming in with that six and seven of uh, pentacles coming out. It could be something that you, you know, sort of invested in for a long period of time, or you kept saying when are my thing when are my blessings coming into fruition i've been trying to manifest good things i've been doing good things i've been staying on point when are things going to start to come into fruition okay so i do feel like something is going to come into so again you may have to give up give your bank statement so you can get some sort of deposits or something so i'm not sure if this is for a new job or if, if it's if you're working with your bank or you're you're going to start seeing deposits come in or something like that or whether this is with a uh, power of attorney a um, I don't know it's some, I feel like you're going to have to do something so you can get a deposit or something okay all right so Pisces um that is the end of your reading and um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got something out of it I do see some I keep seeing some sort of significant change happening in your life Pisces so, but I do feel like you're deciding to keep something more under wraps than you usually would until you see that change because some of you all have been asking like okay I've been watching tarot for years um, and the tar every tarot reader has been talking about 
this is going to happen, that is going to happen, and I'm tired of hearing the same old thing, and you know what I mean? They're saying it, they're going to, we're going to see it on this day, this month, this year, and we haven't seen it yet. You may still, you don't realize windfalls come in different ways. Think about this. If you are more focused on the financial windfall, but your health needs to improve, what do you think you should focus on? Should you focus on improving your health so if when that financial windfall come in, you can accept it and be and utilize it the right way and be happy about it? Or should you be focused on the financial windfall because you feel like, okay, well, I ain't really tripping off of my health as long as I got money or something like that. Now, I know money can, you can pay some damn good doctors. I get that. But me, I would be more focused on my health. You know what I mean? Like improving it in some way. And when the money comes, I'm, I'm ready to enjoy it long term. Okay. So I do feel like some of you all have been making some significant changes or you will start making some sort of significant changes. For some of you all, the money is coming first and then your health is improving because maybe you are investing into some really good doctors and stuff like that that can help you. And then some of you all, your health is improving first and this is helping you manifest money and attract it in a bigger, better way, okay? All right, so um, I do also, Pisces, I meant to tell you, I, have, I saw the Two of Cups. And so I feel like something is, there's going to be some sort of connection. It was a two of cups and then it was a 10 of cups. So I kind of feel like you're going to have some reuniting or a happy connection with some family. If this could be with family or somebody who you see as family or somebody who you really did love or you really do love. I feel like you may have, you may, you're going to encounter someone who you have, um, you had deep emotions for or something like that. And this may, I feel like this is going to be a good interaction. Like, I don't feel like it's any shadiness or anything going on with that person i kind of feel it could be another pisces and it could be a gemini or it could be a cancer okay all right so i feel like you're going to have some sort of good connection or some sort of um good conversation or something with somebody talking about uh they may be talking about something that they want to do um with you or you know showing you some sort of love or support or something like that okay or this could be you showing them love or support all right but that's the end of your reading thank you so much for hanging out with me i'm sending you all love and light i hope you enjoyed it again your phone is not broke i just have the phone facing the sky okay our galaxies our stars our mini moons <laughs> um our planets and all of that good stuff okay our star seeds okay all right so thank you so much for all of your support thank you for your comments thank you for, i'm sending love to everybody in different countries and continents around the world and the usa who has shown me so much love i thank y'all i thank you i thank you i thank you. i'm so grateful um, thank you to everybody who has donated to the channel. Thank you to everybody who has left comments. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed with, with this um, channel. I thank you all so much for that. Okay? So I will talk with you amazing Pisces and you amazing cross watchers another time.